Hello. I am in preparation mode. So it's actually Saturday night. Starting a vlog in my bra. You're welcome. It is Saturday evening right now. And I am anticipating having a fairly busy Sunday. We're going out for a friend, friend's birthday for brunch tomorrow morning. And then there's potentially a Christmas party with another group of friends in the evening. And I tend to avoid making Sunday evening plans like the plague because I like to really kind of ground myself and get ready for the week ahead. So I'm just going to start with a few of those bits today so that I don't have to think about it and then have a little bit more flexibility for myself tomorrow. And then this video, <laughs> long winded way of saying that this video is going to be a difference between like a morning and evening routine working from home versus working in the office, which I'm working from home on Monday and I'm working in the office on Tuesday. Okay, that's, uh, that's doing something. But yeah, I'm gonna shower and wash my hair now. And then I think tonight, I think I might go and get some chocolate down in the town. And then I also want to change my sheets to my Christmas sheets. There was something else I wanted to do. Maybe not. Maybe I just want to like watch a Christmas movie or something by myself. Keenan's out of town for the evening. And then my mum and dad are going out this evening. My sister's got a Christmas party. And I could have gone out of town. I just didn't want to drive two hours for a party. And it was going to be the only night I had to just sort of chill and do my own thing. So I decided to have a lone Saturday night in which feels slightly more pathetic than a Sunday night in, but I like my alone time, so I don't really think of it as such. But yeah, gonna shower. I'll take you along for like the little prep bits, but most of the, the body of this video will probably be on Monday and Tuesday. But here's a long, oh my God, almost five minute introduction. Whoops. Okay, I'm just unwinding and resting with socks in my hair while my pizza cooks. I'm home alone now, everyone's gone out for the evening. And I am making a frozen pizza because I could not be bothered to cook, but I thought I'd kind of introduce the concept of this video because I'm currently thinking about it and remembering it and I am going to be starting filming on Monday properly. I'll probably show some clips from today and tomorrow beforehand, but I think there's a lot of noise in the wellness space in general of like, this is top habit for productivity, top habit for self-care, do this, do that, this will change your life, even with diets. And I think you can find science that will back something up and you can find science that will disprove stuff. And you also need to take into consideration your individual chemical makeup because some things that work brilliantly for some people might not work for you. I have type one diabetes, I'm chronically ill. <laughs> some of those habits don't work. Some of those diets don't work. Some of them really worked for me and some of them didn't work for my friend who also has diabetes. Talk about like cold showers, cold plunges. I can't do a full cold plunge. I lit, like I will get dizzy. <laughs> but I can do a little flash at the end of my shower where it's just like, oh, quick rinse, little cold shock to the system, great. I believe that that helps me and makes a difference, but it's not quite to the rule of what people say. And even with a cold shower, say you have Raynaud's, I really wouldn't recommend doing that. Maybe it does work for Raynaud's, maybe it really doesn't, but everything needs to be taken with a grain of salt and, oh, that's falling out. Um, taken with a grain of salt and, okay, we'll fix that later. Like kind of figure out and test run and experiment with your own like psychology and physiology of what works for you. So some of the habits I'm going to show, they'll be working from home on Monday and then I'll be working in the office on Tuesday. So my routine is going to change. It's going to be different and that's okay. That works for me. Some people, it doesn't. And some of the things that I do will work really well for you. And some of them, you might have to pick and choose. You might pick two things out of the however many that I'm going to end up showing and be like, yeah, that one, absolutely vibe with. The other three did nothing for me. That's fine pick and choose what works for you and I think I like seeing different people's routines because I can pick and choose little pieces and curate my own personal something that works for me. So yeah, Monday is going to be working from home and that little routine which will probably be a lot, a lot lazier and then Tuesday is going to be working in the office so that's going to be a completely different routine and a different setup to my day. That will be the video later on as of right now, it's Saturday night 
I am chilling at home. I think I'm gonna watch some YouTube and probably kind of have a an offline night. And I'm making my frozen pizza. And tomorrow I've got a few thing few things planned. So you can come along. Got chocolate, tea, book, journal, and an Alfie. And with these very wonky curls, I am off to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Today's test, Urban Remedy, Sun Squares, Crispy Rice, and Cocoa Nib Squares. That's feeling looks forlornly out the window. Forlornly. Forlornly. I like the texture. Something's missing. It's not quite as sharp on the chocolate as the other one. You know what I mean? It's like not bitter enough. And chocolatey enough. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's not acidic enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I want to go to the bookshop. I did not have a great sleep last night and I ended up going to bed quite a bit later than I wanted to. And I have a lot of anxiety this morning, which is normal and is okay, but I don't love it. It's a bit abnormal for me. I don't usually wake up with this much, <laughs> but that's the day. I'm working from home, so that offers me flexibility there. Sorry, I'm just literally working from bed. <laughs> I usually do that when I'm working from home, to be completely honest. Today, or this morning, I am going to do some journaling, check in with everybody at work, and also need to run down to the post office because my new phone is here. So I'm gonna go pick that up. almost lunchtime. Had a lot of meetings this morning. My days working from home are a lot less structured than the ones when I'm in the office. At least in the mornings and like the routines I have because I can kind of, they're more flexible. I have more flexibility to do that stuff at home. So I feel like today is not going to be that interesting. <laughs> I don't do my makeup. I give my skin a little breathing room when I'm working from home. I don't put as much like effort. I utilize my sweatpants that I don't usually utilize on other days. I utilize a makeup free day, which I don't usually utilize on other days. It's a lot about doing the different things that I don't get to do or I don't have to do on days I go to work. So this one, today, the Monday, work from bed will probably be a lot less interesting. <laughs> Although maybe it's a good reminder that you don't have to be doing the same things every day and functioning at 110% every day to be successful, to be productive, to be getting through the day. Okay, just went to the post box, grabbed my new phone, and gonna go have some lunch now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? What? Oh, satisfying. 
color is it? Just the black. Okay, I am finished my work day. And now I'm working on my laptop for posting tomorrow for episode four for Vlogmas. And then I hope think later Keenan and I are gonna go to the mall and I'm gonna get a little phone case for this new phone, which I'm looking at and the camera is better quality, which is unfortunate for a day I didn't do anything because my eyes are very dark and the skin is skinning. That was an ordeal. Mine has sprinkles. Yours has sprinkles. Did you do your thing? <laughs> yes. Long time. Long time. Okay, we're finally home from the mall. I think we went to literally every every shop that had a phone cases in them. <laughs> And I eventually found two. I got a red one and a shade actually. I like that color. I don't know, my greasy fingers. And now for the important part. I'm going into the office tomorrow. I need to shower. I need to wash my hair, pack up my bag for tomorrow, and also pick an outfit for tomorrow. So, what's to do? Keenan's staying out, but he's just gaming right now, so it gives me the perfect, perfect time. Do all my self care. It's like 10 to 10 o'clock now. My alarm is set for 5.30 and I'm heading to bed and I'll see you in the morning. Morning. Happy hump day. I've been awake for a while. It is pretty, it is truly the getting out of bed. Once I'm out of bed, I'm fine. I motivate myself to get out of bed. Oh, it's so hard. Especially when it's cold. It's so cold. My inside of my bed is so warm. I need to get up. had our Christmas party at work today so that was lovely. I'm heading home now. I was originally planning on 
going to a dance class tonight. It is the last one before they break for Christmas break. However, I'm exhausted. So I'm not going to go tonight. And instead, I think me and my mum are going to get our nails done together. That's just something we like to do together at the little girl's date. I'll probably get some festive nails. And yeah, it was a nice day. It was very work free, to be honest. But the sunset over the mountains is beautiful right now and probably have a nice relaxing evening. I think the key things today that really helped me, I know this is kind of the intention of the video and I just show it, I don't really talk about it, but for me showering the night before and then like picking out an outfit make a huge difference because in the morning I have less to think about and the mornings I find a lot harder than like the evenings. I have a little bit more energy in the evenings whereas in the morning if I'm like, it's already hard enough to convince myself to get out of bed. So if I'm lying there like, do I shower first? Do I pick an outfit? Like blah blah blah, what do, I, like, what do I do first? If half of that list or more than half is checked off before I go to bed, easy. Easy peasy. I love it. But yeah, that really helped me today because this morning was hard and I'm tired. As it, I feel like the closer I get to December 21st, which is the longest or the shortest day of the year, the heavier my eyelids get, just like every day, I'm just more dozy. So, anything that helps. So, yeah, but yeah, I'll take you guys along tonight as well and then probably say goodnight and goodbye later on. But for now, yeah, going for a manicure. Okay, I just finished the last episode of Daisy Jones and I had a little cry and now it's just before 8 p.m. so I'm honestly like gonna wash my face and have an early night but oh these are the nails Christmas festive I got them a lot shorter than I usually go and they're still not that short to be honest but I like them. I don't know what is the contents of this video. This is definitely like a few of the ones throughout Vlogmas have been like curated and knew what they were going to be about. And I think this one, I had a, I had a good intention for it. The execution, <clears throat> I guess we'll see by the end of the uh, editing that goes into this, but happy Vlogmas day five. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. I feel like it's been a very chaotic week. And maybe not my favourite week of the year so far. But you know what? It's realistic-ish. I literally didn't film yesterday because I was in full just like sad boy chaos mode. So um, mostly realistic. Realistic with some, some cuts to the edit. But yeah, I need an early night. And I have no idea what the next episode will be. But thank you for tuning in to Vlogmas episode 5, and I will see you on Tuesday for episode 6. Is it episode 5? I'm pretty sure it's episode 5. I don't know. I don't know what day it is anymore. It's almost Christmas. Okay, we'll see you soon. Thank you.